First, she beat Dr. Doom. Then she beat Thanos. And now Squirrel Girl is in Marvel Strike Force as part of this new version of the Hero Brawlers, AKA the Young Avengers. How good does she make this team? But more importantly, is she worth it for you to spend your hard-earned resources on? That's what we're going to talk about in this video, guys. We're going to open some orbs. We are going to rank Squirrel Girl up, take her into battle, and I will give you my opinion on this character. And if you're ready for all of that, guys, find that like button and you know what to do. Let's go smash it! Valley flying. What is up, Valley Maniacs? Valley Flying here. I am back. Welcome to the channel. And yes, your favorite rodent in the entire Marvel Universe has finally come to Marvel Strike Force. Yes, Squirrel Girl, aka Doreen Green, finally added to the game. And guys, jokes aside, she actually looks to be a very important part of the new version of this hero brawler team, the Young Avengers. How important is she gonna be to your roster though? Should you build her up? Should you use all of your resources on her? What we're gonna do in this video, guys, is the usual. We're gonna open some orbs. We're gonna rank her up. We're gonna take her into battle and I will give you my opinion if I think she is worth it. Yes, and guys, if you want to win Squirrel Girl, if there is still time, the drawing sponsored by Worldwide Nutrition is going to take place on July 15th, noon Eastern. So if you're watching this video before that, there's still time to enter your Squirrel Girl. Doing two Squirrel Girl giveaways, and all you got to do is enter to be on their email list, and they will pick the winner automatically. They will notify you, and then I will announce whoever wins later on this channel. But yes, they are going to reach out to you directly. If you go on their email list now, if you do want to get some supplements for Worldwide Nutrition, there is a link down below or a code that you could enter to get 25% off. It is Valley Flying 25. So make sure you check out that link in the description, guys. But let's go open some orbs. Let's go build up Squirrel Girl and see how good she is, guys. All right, guys. And here we are in the orb chamber. Now, normally what I would do, open all of these orbs until I get the three or four star of the Squirrel Girl. But we're going to do something a little different this time because... One of my buddies has an extreme hatred for Squirrel Girls. I need to save 28 for that orb opening. But we have a bunch of orbs here. These four stars and we have a five star. We have two five stars actually. So we're actually going to open these. If I need to come back and open those other red star orbs, we're going to open those too. But we're going to start with these right here. These elite fours. Hopefully we get something good, guys. We got, we got five big orbs to open. Hopefully we don't have to open all of them. If we get Squirrel Girl right here, we're going to stop and go right to the uh, Squirrel Girl Oral Orb opening. So let's see what we get here, guys. Boom, first orb is a Shield Medic. It is a upgrade, so not the worst thing, but Shield not really in the meta, so not a very valuable uh, pull right here, but it is, we did defy the odds. We got a five-star pull out of that, other than this four-star Elite Orb. Let's see if we can defy the odds again and get another five-star pull. Hopefully it is for Squirrel Girl, maybe a better character. Boom, who are we gonna get right here? It is a... Black Widow. Oh, it is an upgrade, though. Again, another character that kind of fell out of the meta, so not as valuable as she once was. One more pull of these four stars, guys. Then we got a couple fives to open. So, boom. What are we going to get right here? It is going to be a Punisher. Oh, it is a duplicate. So, it looks like we still have those two five stars to open, guys. And we're not going to go to this right yet. Oh, we actually, it looks like we have another four to open right here. So, let's go open this one right here, and then we're going to go to those fives. So, Boom, oh, maybe we'll get lucky and get another five to open right here. Boom. Are we going to get a gold or is it going to be another purple? It is another purple. And it is Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier, a character that we've been waiting for to get his rework. Maybe when his TV show comes out, Falcon and Winter Soldier, he will get the love that he deserves. We got two of these, though. Will we see Squirrel Girl in here or will we be out of luck, guys? We got two. We're going to open two right here. Maybe we don't get lucky with Squirrel Girl. Maybe we get lucky with another character. That may actually be more beneficial, but let's see if we can get her right here, guys. Boom, five star at the minimum, and we get the very minimum. It is a Falcon, duplicate Falcon. We get some uh, six credits right there. All right, we got one more of these fives to open. Hopefully, it is not a duplicate. Hopefully, it is an upgrade. Hopefully, it is gold. What are we going to get, guys? Last shot right here at Redemption. And it is going to be, oh, it is another purple, but this time it is Proxima Midnight. 
a duplicate again. So we got very unlucky with these red star orbs. We're going to open the rest of them on Casino's channel. But right now, I'm going to go buy that squirrel girl offer. And we're going to open her and see how lucky we get with those orbs, guys. All right, we are in the orb chamber. We bought one squirrel girl offer so far, guys. We mo may go back and buy the other one. But we got eight to open right here. We're going to open them all at once. I've found that I've gotten better luck that way rather than opening them one at a time. So... Boom, all eight together. Here it goes, guys. Boom, what are we going to get? Are we going to get a gold? We've never got to know. We get blues, 66. Very, very bad pull. Let's see if we get another one, guys. I think we need a little more stars just because we're not having the red stars on this character just to get a good test. Let's go back and get one more offer and see if we get a little better luck this time. All right, so we are back. We bought one more offer. Hopefully, this offer is not as bad as the other one. I don't think that was uh, worth that 25 bucks, but hopefully, this one is. Hopefully, we get... A lot of shards here. Maybe it's our first gold shard right here. Hopefully, we get something good. Nope. It is 50. So, even worse, guys. This is probably the worst orb opening that we've had. But we do get her at three stars. We're going to open her up. We're going to build her up. Take her into battle. We're going to be right back. And I will give you my recommendations on her T4s. All right, guys. I am back. And I have built Squirrel Girl up to her minimum usable level, in my opinion. Level 60. And skills at 6664. Now, I did also record Whale Wars while I was gone and managed to pull three red stars on this character. A little disappointing. Would have wanted a little bit more, but that is where she is right now. So, not as bad as where she was beforehand. But let's go take a look at her skills and see which ones, if any, are T4 worthy. Let me move my camera before we go in. Let's talk about her first skill, Kick Butts. What does the T4 do? It gives 60% damage to the primary. Always applying offense down to the enemy with the highest speed bar instead of that 50% chance. This is a pretty good one. Would probably wait on investing on this one until you get at least four red stars, probably five red stars on this character. But this is a pretty good one. This is one you eventually should do if you're really investing in this character. That offense down uh, happening 100% of the time, very, very important. Instead of that 50% chance, that a little extra damage is nice as well. Let's talk about her special. And this is a very good one because the special or uh, the T4 on the special, instead of clearing two negative effects right here, you're going to clear all the negative effects. That is big. The healing, everything else remains the same, but... Yeah, those extra negative effects is very big. This is a high priority, guys. This is one that I think you want to do, especially if you're investing in this character, investing in that young Avengers team. Let's talk about this one, Squirrel Army. All it is is 50% damage to all enemies. 50% damage on an AoE attack is a pretty standard T4, um, just about average. So I wouldn't invest too much in this one unless you're really lucky with six or seven red stars. Not going to do you a whole lot of good unless you got a really, really beefy squirrel girl. And the last one I want to talk about is her passive, Unbeatable. What does this T4 do? Well, it fills the speed bar by 20% instead of 10. So 30%. Uh, every time a young Avenger drops below 50%, she gets 30% speed bar. That is pretty good. But I think the important one right here is these drains. You're getting 10% extra drain for her and 10% extra drain for our young Avenger allies. That severely improves the survivability of this team. So this is probably my first choice. Second order would be this special. If you really, really want to invest in this character, then do the basic. And then this is a very low priority. This uh, this ultimate is uh, probably something you want to save unless you get really, really high red stars. So that is where she's at, guys. Let's go find a team for her and take her into battle. All right, guys. And here we are, tier 8.0 at Blitz. For this team, if they're built properly, which they are not, as you can see, those very low gold stars on Squirrel Girl, low levels as well. Uh, if this team was built properly, can probably auto 8.3. But as they stand now, I'm not sure if they could even win at tier 8.0 with this very low level Squirrel Girl. Not sure how her focus is. Not sure how her resistance is. Obviously, very low health and low damage. But let's see how they does against a standard test out team of the defenders. Let's take them into battle, guys. Let's see how they do a tier 8.0. And there's the loading screen for Squirrel Girl. Pretty nice loading screen, guys. But more important than the loading screen is this actual battle, guys. So let's take her to battle. Now, she does not need to heal or clear anything. So I'm going to save this right here. And hopefully, she gets this offense down right here on Punisher. Only a 50% chance because I don't have that T4 in that basic. So let's see if that offense 
hands down sticks on Punisher will definitely help with that AoE attack that's coming. Nope, it does not stick. And I'm not sure, did not read the text to see if it was resistor or not. Maybe it was because she has very, very, she's very lowly built right now. I want to put this, uh, reduce the speed. Actually, let's reduce the speed of Punisher to avoid that AoE attack. And let's see what happens there. Boom. Uh, maybe could have done that uh, clearing some positive effects. Actually, no. Could not have done that clearing positive effects. I, I was, in my mind, I was thinking offense down. But yeah, uh, it is actually clearing positive effects with that basic of Miles right here. Let's see if we could chain this. I would want to get this right here, but I don't want this going the wrong way to Jessica Jones. So hopefully it gets all four and gets all the way to Iron Fist. Let's see what happens here, guys. Guess the That's not the important one. Only goes to Punisher. Let's see if we could kill Punisher right here with this move of America Chavez. Now, you're getting a lot of extra health with both uh, Squirrel Girl and America Chavez. Both of their passives gives a lot of extra health to these Young Avengers slash hero, um, hero brawler allies. Now, the one weakness right here, kind of like in that footage that we saw with Gamora, is that non-Young Avengers, because Spider-Man right here is not getting that drain like the rest of this team is. So, let's go heal him just a little bit. This AoE is probably not going to do a lot of damage because she's very uh, low built, but this heal might help spider-man does get some back into the yellow doesn't get him all the way into the red um or, or the green let's get this disrupted although jessica jones jessica jones is going to come with her clear right now so let's just use this basic on iron fist i guess i uh, really want to want to test out is the skills of squirrel girl and i think and if we look at the health of all of these young avenger allies not so much for this hero brawler ally but these young avenger allies this drain is doing them very very well so there's a stun right there and i think at this point it is pretty much over let's see if we clear some of these positive effects got that death proof off of luke cage that is a good uh, that is a good thing right there hopefully he can uh is done soon there you go boom and get the assist from america chavez does not enough to kill him Let's see if we have this AOE attacks. He's going to get a bunch of counter attacks, so could possibly die. Not enough from Daredevil and Jessica Jones to kill her, though. There she goes, and boom. So now we're going to do, guys, they did pretty good against the defenders. Let's take him up one more level, and I'm going to do something. I'm going to replace Spider-Man with Captain Marvel. See how this full team does at 8.3, guys. I will be right back. All right, guys, and we are at 8.3. We are back. Captain Marvel has replaced Spider-Man on this team, and we have found a fake Defenders team. I don't think this team right here, at their current power level, with powers level ranging between 29k and 100k, I just don't think that they could take on a normal team like a Brotherhood or this uh, team with another Captain Marvel on them. So, big, big punch up. I will be very, very impressed if they do win. Now, I don't think they would have a problem winning if this team was properly built, properly evened out. But at their mixed level, I am uh, very questionable if they could win. So let's go do this. Let's see what happens, guys. And uh, let's see how good, how much of a different Squirrel Girl can make on this team. All right, guys, and we are back in battle. Biggest target right here, either Jessica Jones or Punisher. I think I'm going to go after Punisher, even though there's no villains on our team. Uh, Iron Fist just usually heals up and uh, replaces any health that we've lost. So we're going to go after Punisher right here. And hopefully we could build it. Oh, not even a big dent takes him out. That is huge. Let's turn it back this to one X speed to see the heals from uh, Squirrel Girl right here. Not a lot of heals, but more to show these animations right here. And a little bit of a heal for Miss Marvel. Let's see what this does right here. No, no debuffs to uh, remove either. So not the best use of this move, but I do want to show the animations right there. A lot of yellow balls uh, going all over the place. Back to three X speed. So we can speed through this battle. That is, that is actually pretty big with no Punisher right there. Uh, he is going to get defense up for everybody. So let's reduce his speed right here. So that comes a little bit later. That reduces his speed bar a lot, by a lot. And he's a very slow character. So hopefully that does not become a big factor in the battle. Let's use this big attack right here. Getting some extra attack from these hero brawlers. Plus this young Avenger right here with that additional tag that just got added to America Chavez right there. Still working on Iron Fist right there. And uh, just... You know what? Because of Captain Marvel, we might actually be in good shape here. I don't know how much of a difference Squirrel Girl is making in this battle. All right, let's take a look at her AoE. All of these squirrels attacking. She's going to get two counter attacks right here. So hopefully she does survive. But there they come. All of them. They're attacking. Oh my goodness. Look at all those squirrels on and off the screen going right off the edge of the helicarrier right there. Back to 3x speed though, guys. Actually, they might have went into all these blades right here. Uh, the, the animation on that looked pretty scary, guys. All right, well, let's uh, let's do some. I think Daredevil is the one that we don't want to get that defense up. I think he's the biggest threat right now. So let's get that disrupted on Daredevil. Oh, he dodges it! My goodness, that tricky, tricky guy. But these, but the mix of the extra health 
with the drains that these guys have, they are surviving pretty good. Plus, plus we got Captain Marvel on this team. So she she makes a team very, very solid right there with just her. A lot of these, a lot of blitz battles, I end up winning just because of that strong Captain Marvel. But look at these guys. All of them, all of these normally built characters in green health, she still has some yellow health, so not bad. Let's bring us back. I, actually, you know what? Let's use the basic right here because we already saw this move. Probably would be smarter to use this, heal up the characters, but just so we can see the animations. Basic time and oh, oh, ouch. Did you see where she need Luke Cage? That looked like it hurt, guys. Ouch. All right, I think we are on auto territory. And yes, I got to say, I am impressed. I am impressed. This drain makes a big difference. And if you have the right young or fifth young Avenger in this spot, it, it, it is very nice. And I think thematically, as far as the comic book, Captain Marvel would fit thematically correctly on this team if we're looking at uh, what is going on in the animated series right now guys all right so we've seen squirrel girl's skills we've taken her to battle and now it's time to answer the question is she worth it and to answer that i think we got to think about this character in a few different ways first is on that young avengers team and it's going to come down to usage do you need another team for war maybe a good war offense team maybe a good war defense team i think this team is a little versatile and you could use him on either offense or defense do you need another team Young Avengers, I think, are going to be a decent team. Slightly upgraded version of that Hero Brawlers team with a lot more survivability because of the drain that she provides and that extra health that she provides. So if you need another team, this will be another solid team for you. Do you need another Blitz team? This will be another solid Blitz team. Now, if you don't need that, I don't think they're going to break into the arena metas. Uh, yeah, the Young Avengers aren't going to be there. And I think this team will perform okay in the raids. Maybe as you start to get to some of these more uh, difficult levels in Ultima 7, maybe not. But at some of the lower levels, I think this team will perform okay. But I also think there's a lot of better options out there. So I think necessity is going to come into play with this Young Avengers team. Do you need another team in these game modes? If you do, I think she's the glue that's going to bring this team together. And I think she will be worth it. But if you don't, uh, and I think this is going to be a very fun team. But I don't think this is going to be a very necessary team in terms of meta breaking. Now, as far as her value outside of that Young Avengers team, this is one character that I think will have a lot of value outside of her team especially because of this special right here. There's a very low cooldown, three turn cooldown, clearing all negative effects once you put that T4 in there. So this becomes a very powerful move and uh, providing a heal. So if you build her up enough, get enough gold stars, get enough red stars, get her leveled up enough, I think she can be viable to certain teams, maybe taking in them into raids. I still don't think as a standalone character, she's gonna be very valuable in arena, but possibly as a backup raid team. A lot of people want to pair her with Spider-Verse. I think she pairs perfectly with that team, maybe using Drax as a fifth. But yes, I think she's she has a lot of value. And if you need a character like this, that is going to dispel, take it off, take all of the debuffs off of everybody on your team. Very low cooldown. This move right here, I think, think does make her worth using outside of that young avengers team and if it's something you need if it's something one of your teams is missing then yeah she's going to provide a lot of value but if you already have a few good raid teams you don't need another one and this is just a fun character then maybe wait till our event use it as backup team because i think young avengers is a very fun team so if you need this character then yes it is worth it if not i think this is just gonna be a very fun character a very fun team guys so that's my recommendations for squirrel girl guys i think she's a great character and for certain people if you have enough gold and red stars on her she can provide some value outside of this young avengers team for other teams possibly for dark dimension three possibly for ultima seven if you have her built up enough but for most players, it's going to be a while. And uh, at least for the short term, for a lot of players, she's just going to be a very fun character. And if you just want fun, I think she she makes that Young Avengers team very fun. But if you're looking for to her for to, for her to break the meta, probably not going to find it with this character. So that is it, guys. If you want some fun, good stuff. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helps you to make a decision if you want to invest in this character. And hopefully you're watching this. There's still time in the drawing to win Squirrel Girl. Two Squirrel Girl giveaways provided by Worldwide Nutrition. All you got to do is join their email list and uh, you will be notified automatically. The drawing for that 
takes place July 15th, Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern. So if you're watching this video before then, there is still time and your name. And uh, yes, you can get some discounts at Worldwide Nutrition as well. I will see you guys next time. Hopefully this video provided you value. If it did, subscribe to the channel. At least four Marvel Strike Force videos per week on this channel, guys. And I will see you guys next time. Join that notification squad. Ring that bell, guys, and share this with your friends. Give me a hog fist, but before you go, check me out on social media, and I will see you next time. Valley Flying, out!